The patient in this study, who has received this first airway transplant procedure, had damage to her own airway passages due to tuberculosis. Her collapsed trachea meant that she had difficulty in breathing and in carrying out everyday tasks. So, the procedure itself involved taking a trachea from a donor and then stripping it of all its cells. Then the investigators removed stem cells from the patient's own hip along with epithelial cells from her own trachea. The clever part of this procedure is how these stem cells were then developed into cartilage and put inside the donor's trachea along with the epithelial cells from her own trachea. This transplanted trachea, complete with its activated stem cells, was then placed in a rotating bioreactor to enable the cells to grow in the correct fashion. The operation took place in June this year. The damaged trachea was cut out and the donated organ was shaped to fit.